Greg, uh, 25 years you guys have been together. This, this Canadian Hall of Fame, Music Hall of Fame induction uh, on Sunday, really, what, does this, uh, what do you make of this? How do you feel about this? Well, it's, 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 it's a, quite a pat on the back, you know. It's, uh, you know, well done, jolly good type of thing. Um, I think uh, it's, it's a funny thing, you know. You think of when we started, there were a whole pile of bands that came out around that time. You know, there was like uh, Sloan and the Cowboy Junkies and the Hip and 5440 and, and all these Canadian bands that, that have been playing, continually making great records, and, and uh, so, uh, you know, I, I think it has a lot to say about uh, uh, the audience, the Canadian audiences are, are quite incredible that they can support so many bands, <laughs> buy their records, go to their shows, keep them viable, you know, we, we would sort of be doing this in any little bar, no matter what, you know, at this point. But, but I don't think any of those bands are in the Hall of Fame. Oh, the hip you, bar. Oh, the hip bar, right. right. But uh, so, so this is a special, uh, and they had, maybe they deserve to be, but this is a very special, um, you guys have, are, are joining the ranks of, um, a lot of people would think you already would be in the Hall of Fame, actually, but, but of Neil Young and Leonard Cohen and, and Joni Mitchell, as we said earlier. Uh, d does that... Does that kind of, I mean, after the five group of the year, Junos, and all of the, that, all that you've achieved in that sense, does, does this actually, do you guys talk about this with each other and kind of go, wow, we're, we're going to go in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> yeah, we talked about it. I mean, I'm not, you know, Greg's really into awards. I'm not as into awards. <laughs> you know. but, uh, um, but, you know, I just, there's something about the timing of this and, of course, the, you know, the, the honor of it that allowed us to unclench for one time and just look back and be proud of, of the whole journey we've, we've taken. And that's, that's great that's, to hear, yeah. as well, you should. Well, it's not, it's not a band given to a lot of, uh, of self-reverential behavior. We don't, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's a very low-key band that way. I, I try to get them to celebrate all kinds of anniversaries and I, I get no reaction, but this was a good one. Well, and that's why I went to Greg first with the question, because I, I know that. that he's traditional. You're prodding. Well, I'm not prodding, but he's just the kind of guy who goes, ah, I don't care about no, this stuff. No, he's so you know? into awards, it's really <laughs> sickening. <laughs> oh, well, when are we going to win another award? <laughs> but, uh, although my favorite uh, Greg quote was, I think it was uh, um, when your last album came out and you were on, you were on cue in the, on the first day that it came out, and I said, this is one of the, the, this is the, the best Beatle, uh, Blue Rodeo album in, uh, in the last few years, and, and Greg's first comment was, what's wrong with the other record? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I, I meant That's this That's just Henny Youngman. That's the Henny Youngman inside. Of you know, I love Henny Youngman. Uh, Jim, I should mention, you've also just been announced, I think it was yesterday, as Ambassador for Music Counts. Right. Uh, a, 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 a great organization that gives back in, in Canada. Um, what, this, this, um, how have you seen, Greg was talking about the, the musicians that you guys came up with. How have you seen the Canadian music industry change oh uh, in the last 25 years? <laughs> well, this is, this is like one of those things where your grandfather starts talking about the, pla the horse in the, in the cart. <laughs> because when we started, I still remember being taken into a room and shown, shown a big pie chart and showed, showing us how cassettes were taking over from albums. And we needed a pie chart. Yeah, they couldn't just give us percentages. I was like, wow, that's a big piece. And, and so that was, I mean, that's how far back we go. And obviously when we started, it was very unusual for Canadian bands to get signed and then for them to actually flourish in record stores and on radio. And yet it was, again, like Greg said, it was a testament to Canadian audiences being tired of being fed American or British mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. So since then, I think that artists come out now, they would have no idea that that... that that field was not available to them 20 years ago. Now, if you come out, you have every possibility of being released all around the world. There's, there's radio opportunities, there's internet opportunities, there's everything. So it's changed immeasurably. Mm. Do you, um, and, and nicely done, and, and do you, <laughs> that was a great answer. I don't answer. need awards, I just need a little pat on the back every now and again. <laughs> Again. There's a there's certainly you, you guys have become one of the first names when that people talk about when when they talk about the quintessential successful Canadian band. Do you feel that way about what you've accomplished? Yeah, I think we're sort of, you know, we we sort of 
worked at what we have done to be where we're at. You know, like uh, we've played every little town, maybe four, five times, and played the cities probably 20, you know? So, and I think that, you know, I don't want to harp on this, but relating to an audience is, is an important thing. And, uh, you know, I think that there's times when you write songs for yourself, and there's so sometimes you write songs for uh, the show. And you know that this one will work at a show, and you know that this one will, you know, is a little more personal. Mm -hmm. But I think that we've, uh, we're sort of conscious of, of working towards that, yeah. Jim? Well, I think that we were provided this opportunity that, that uh, we were able to go to all these places because Canadians were all of a sudden really wanting to have a reflection of their own experience in, in music. And uh, it was, you know, for us, we always wanted to play because that was how we started. We were happy being in a bar band. But the opportunity to go to all these places across Canada and then in the north of Canada, has they, those were opportunities that were great for us to take advantage of. So it was great to go to Cape Breton. It was great to go to different places in Cape Breton. It was great to go mm -hmm. to Tuktiuktuk. It was great to go to Whitehorse. It, and those, they, what happened was then we crisscrossed the map and we, we became part of that work ethic, visit everywhere kind of um, <clears throat> band that a lot of other bands followed. I don't know whether bands do that now or not, but that was not an opportunity that was a hardship to us. That was, a, that was an incredible great opportunity. You know, uh, when this show was, we were putting this show together, uh, I know that there were some hoops you guys had to jump through to make sure that you could play on tonight's show and you, made, you went out of your way to, 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 to be here and, and to be part of this and it's, uh, we're very grateful and uh, congratulations really on Thank the Hall of much. Fame. Thank you all it's very so much. It's so good to have you here.